No rest for the wicked, Saturday morning, we're dropping Abigail off at dancing, picking Dominic's friend up to come round here, and me at work. Are you going dancing, Abs? Yeah. You are? What dance moves are you going to do today? Uh, I don't know. Okay, are you going dancing, Dominic? No, but Mum... You had them clothes on yesterday. I know, and I like these clothes, and Mum just went buzzard, like, what's happening? Crazy. So we've only got a couple of hours in the shop this morning actually, Gemma's going to pick me up at 2 o'clock, so my plan is, or should I say today's DIY extravaganza, is to mark my Canon camera batteries. So daily vlogging sort of takes its toll on your battery life, and when you're changing batteries, you take one out of the camera, you throw it back in the bag, and invariably, when you come to change another battery, you pick up the one that's already discharged. So I'm going to number each battery, one, two, three, and four, and you'll use them in order. So battery number one goes in the slot, battery number two is the next one in line, and if you're on battery three, you know that one and two need charging when you get home. We're going to spray paint these with that luminous orange pink, because I think it looks freaking awesome. But first, I need to draw out some numbers and mask them off. Right, because it's so cold in here, I've got the fan on there, the heater to dry it. I don't know if this is going to take now I've put it on, because there's a no white undercoat base to it. And you can see it's sort of, it's still pretty black. But we'll try two or three coats, and if it's no good, we will abort. And in the meantime, I'm going to board this section up, and board that window up, if I have time. So if I had to do this again, I don't think I'd use as much blue tack and maybe I'd use masking tape to stick uh, straight onto the battery and then cut the numbers out of the masking tape so you don't get any bleed because it's bleeding around the edges if you can see. So it's good enough though, I'm happy with it and it's already dry and smudge proof so it seems like a success. Uh, I've just got battery number four to do now because obviously it's it's in the camera. Okay, it's two o'clock. Gemma's here to pick me up. Oh, oh, oh. It's dark in there. So we're just going to lock up, kill the lights, and shoot up home. Bit of toast, bit of cheese. Not going to get much recording done here because Dominic's got a friend round. So I think I'll go out with a camera and see if we can observe some nature before it gets dark. It's half past two, so we've probably got an hour. Who's this? Just found him in Ben. I'll tell you what, it would be a good thing. Sit him in there. Wanna go and sit in that? No, my Well, we're gonna have to get one of your brothers or sisters for Abigail, aren't we? 
Hey. You're not peeing, are you? You having a wee? I've just had a nice walk around town, got some good footage. The sun has now gone down, as you can see. Nipped into beer heads and had a couple of pints with Craig. That's my lot, two, 3.8% pints of uh, Dark Stars Hophead. So now I've spoke to Gemma, asked if I can actually get a lift back down and have a few more beers. I know Froggy's on at the brew shed tonight. So with any luck, I'll be able to drive home and then Gemma can drop me off back down and I'll have a few beers this afternoon. Might mean I edit the vlog late and slightly intoxicated, but uh, I'm sure worse things have happened at sea. Uh, I might even be able to pick up a few shots of uh, what's going on, the goings on at the brew shed as well. So if I don't see you any more tonight, we shall see you tomorrow. It's gonna be a bit of a ropey edit, isn't it, Dan? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a very ropey yeah. edit. <laughs> <laughs> this little section will be where it says subscribe here, and then there's a link to subscribe two other videos. Here. <laughs> <laughs> here. <laughs>